All right, here's a way I like to match CG objects to the background plate. With just a few clicks, really. All right, so let's add a grade note and let's name it rock sample because we're going to sample from the rock. And let's uncheck black clamp. Now let's add another gray node. And this one we'll call background sample because we're going to sample from the background. Basically, these are the two nodes that you need. But on this node, you make sure you check reverse. And that's it. So we're going to take the black point and we're going to sample not from the grade node, but we're going to sample from the source. Because if you use the grade node, the changes you make will be updating in your viewer and you'll be sampling the updates. So I want to get this dark section right over here. Okay. And I'm going to move this over to the background. And I want to sample from the background. And being that I haven't changed my uh, gamma adjustments on the top, the viewport, uh, I'm going to sample right from the same darkness. And this should be good. Okay, so let's put this back to the merge node and see what we got. Let me set these back to normal. Okay, so now just by adjusting the black point, you can see that it's already close. We're already getting those tones. So now let's do the white point. Same thing, let's sample from the rock. And we'll make sure that we sample from the source. I don't want to sample from areas that are blown out. or pretty much the brightest area, but not maybe so much blown out. So this area here looks pretty good. Let's try this. All right, I did, don't, I'm trying not to get the dark areas. Okay, now let's sample over to the background and do the same thing. Let's just sample the white point from the background. And since I haven't changed my gamma settings from my viewport, I'm going to just sample the same bright areas that are highlighted, which would be these areas. All right, so now my white point is now matched. So let's put this back to the merge node and see what we got. Much better. So now the top of the rock is looking a lot closer to this part but I could probably get a little bit better than that. So let me add another grade node and just adjust the gamma. Much better. Okay. So now we went from this to this. All right. But I want to make it a little bit easier. So here's a setup to make it easier so that when you sample the values, you're getting a live feedback update. So let's split the viewer. And put 
viewer one on one side and viewer two on the other. Okay, so let's connect viewer one to whichever source we're going to be sampling from. And in this case, it'll be the background node. And viewer two will be right to the merge node, the end results. Okay, so now when you sample the values, you'll have a live feedback. So let's see, so let's sample from the background node and let's sample from the white point right here. Okay, so let's sample, I'm not even gonna gamma down, I'm just gonna sample right from the screen. And if you look over to this side, you'll see the changes. So now I can just keep sampling until I get something that's closer to my liking. And yeah, that's pretty good. So it seems complicated, but it's really not. So you're going to take your top grade node. You're going to sample the black point and the white point of your CG object. Then you're going to take the bottom grade node. You're going to make sure it's reversed. And you're going to sample the black and white points of your background object. And that's it.